Hello? Today's day 39 of the South Searching Mine. Um, today was a pretty good day. Every day that I'm breathing is a good day. Um, I'm going to focus on looking at the camera this video because uh, if you didn't see my last video, then you should check it out. It's just me, you know, overcoming my insecurity and my lazy eye. Um, so today was relatively good, right? Because I'm still still breathing. Uh, the cold shower today was especially cold. I don't know why. It's just, it is it is it is how it is sometimes. So first one of the day, and then I went to school. I worked on my essay um, about how dopamine and depression relate and like the effect that dopamine has on so many so many series of influence. It's I don't even know if that's the right word, but if it is, then you know vocabulary time. <laughs> right, finally, actually learning stuff from from school, but yeah, uh, dopamine has a large influence on a lot of things, right? Especially with motivation and like baseline happiness. So um, after that, I worked on the essay. I hit uh, weights in the gym and. Yeah, apart from that, it was just a relatively chill day. Um, on the bus ride home, nothing much. Uh, I There's one thing that I really messed up on today. And that was I let t uh, social media take too much control of my life. Most of my time I spent right on my phone is probably unused on social media and stuff like that. And, um... That is not, you know, that is not ideal. Uh, what happens is when, when you're on stuff like, like that, apps like that, just consuming content, you know, getting those hits of dopamine, then what happens is your your body works in like a, um, sort of maintaining dopamine homeostasis. So whenever you get a hit of dopamine, there has to be an equivalent amount of pain Right, or dip in dopamine that has to go below your baseline. So you pretend like this is your baseline right here, right? And then you're, whatever, on social media for a bit, so your dopamine goes up. And then after that, when you're not on social media, it has to come down and it goes a little bit below. And then so it kind of goes around baseline, but it still stays a little bit down here. So what ends up happening is the less dopamine you have, right? The less motivation you have to do stuff. So if you start off, right, just on that social media thing, it's like you get down here and you feel really crappy, right? Because you don't have that much dopamine in your system. You're like, oh, I know how to get dopamine easily. And then you go on social media again. And then again and then again. And then from what your baseline was down here, it just keeps on going down, down, down. Um, and I saw that work in full effect today. I know about this, right? I, I learned about the science and everything behind that. But I still, I, I, I fail to recognize and apply it in my own life in which I want to do better tomorrow. I want to try getting my social media time down to under 20 minutes and um yeah it's gonna it's gonna be tough but i recognize that as soon as i started going on social media it's the only thing that i want to do because my dopamine reserve is gone right because i'm spending on social media so how am i gonna have that dopamine to motivate me to do my work i only did like two assignments today and that's not much for for my school because it's a little advanced and I should have done probably six right so I recognize this I recognize my faults and uh, I'm glad for this opportunity to understand how to apply what I learned right about dopamine and really get into my own life right so tomorrow I'm gonna I'm not, I deleted all my social media again um, and if I, uh, the only one I plan on using is Instagram just to check messages between, um, schoolmates or whatever, right, for updates for my clubs and everything like that. Just, I don't know, I'm still kind of dependent on that for a lot of, um, connection with my school and school life. So, yeah, that, but that's the only, only way I plan on using it. But um yeah it is it is pretty bad. I recognize now and tomorrow it'll be better, right? You just gotta keep that on. Uh
today I kind of got into a, not an argument, but like a discussion about how pornography affects the brain, right? And what can we do to limit and uh, inhibit that pornography usage. Um, if you don't know, pornography increases sexual aggressive behavior. So stuff like sexual harassment and, you know, rape and stuff like that. So it just like completely taint, taints the young, like the minds of young men, especially because um, I, I think most of the individuals who are watching my videos are men. And I'm sure most of you guys have had experiences with pornography um, at a young age. And 99% have developed an addiction. Right? I struggled with that addiction for a long time. And just recently I'm starting to you know, break it. It's like it's still, you have to hammer, hammer, hammer. You know, get, get through those relapses before um, you start making progress. So I'm just, you know, trying my best. And the thing is, my my classmate didn't agree that um, pornography should have very strong uh, limitations for individuals under the age of 18. My classmate thought, oh, well, I mean, they're just going to look for it anyways, right? Just why not? Why not just, you know, let it out all out there? But then that's like... It increases sexual aggressive behavior, right? It leads to so many like horrible, horrible things, and it completely taints the young minds of young men. It it's like a net negative for society, like. If you look at it overall, it might make a couple individuals, right, feel whatever, but it's a net negative for society, and it's strongly against my religious beliefs, too, so that's just another thing, but looking at it, you know, from just a general, like, social standard, it's so, yeah, it just increases sexual aggressive behavior. It um, leads to erectile dysfunction, and you can't enjoy your wife anymore, right? Because of the the tastes you've acquired through pornography. So if you're in a relationship, right, and you you can't even enjoy your wife, and there's a lot of scenarios where it's like that. And it leads to divorce and broken families and um, stuff like that, right? Young young people don't have enough self control to not get into that, right? There's, it, if you look at a young mind, it's there. It, it's full of impulse, right? They haven't yet developed the discipline necessary, and I believe if the government, right, has something to do, where you really need ident like true identification for you to watch pornography, or pornographic videos, right? then that would be a lot better. It would fix a lot of problems, especially in, you know, the young teenage generation. Um, but yeah. Good day today. I'm still breathing, right? Today I learned I need to stop sending my time on social media. I feel like this day is, no days are ever wasted. It's always you can learn. So, I learned from today. And, um, tomorrow I will do better. And yeah, that's just the constant cycle until all of my self improvement habits, right, just eventually add up and. I just like snowball upward, right? Skyrocket upward in my self improvement journey. So, and try being a little bit better than you were yesterday. And if you're not, then just analyze it. And then tomorrow is always a chance. Be grateful for every day that you have because it's never guaranteed. And tell yourself that every morning. That's what I do. And, um,
And I found that I'm a lot more, a lot more grateful for all the stuff that I have in life. And, yeah. Um, thank you for watching these videos. I, I do appreciate it. Uh, I usually just turn on this camera and start speaking my mind. I have no, no script to it at, or at all or anything like that. And if you made it to the end, then this is a 10 minute long video. Yeah. Um, if you made it to the end, I, I, I tr truly do appreciate you yeah, um, for listening to my words, whether they may be right or they may be wrong, right? This is the entire point why I'm doing this YouTube channel. So if you could please give me some feedback, right? For me to really understand and try developing my concepts. And thank you. Um, I generally hope you have a wonderful day and be kind because there's too little room for hatred in this world.